All right, everybody, welcome to Crikey, the show with me, Resurrected Steve Irwin. Today, we fight the Cell, and now we're going to see some parts through video games. And here we have the famous explorer, Don Quixote, trying to find the mitochondria that represents the energy maker of the Cell. As you can see, Don Quixote is nuts. And he is going to attack the mitochondria. And you see, we can see him fail right now. Alright. The windmill represents the mitochondria because it generates energy. I'm not sure if I said that yet. But, uh... Okay, that's going kind of creepy, Don Quixote. He was stopped by the ground. And here we have... The microtubules, because it is the transport for the cell. Everything goes along the microtubules, like a giant highway or a train truck. And here we can see the vesicle, because it transports the materials throughout cells, like a mobile vacuole, which holds the, the substances. Uh, so yeah. And here we have a vacuole, which stores the material of the cell until it is needed, and then it turns into a vesicle, transporting it wherever it needs to go. Alright. These guys have found the Golgi body, or something that represents the Golgi body. In this case, it's a train yard, because train yards package and ship materials, just like the Golgi body does with proteins. Packages them and ships them throughout the cell, or in this case, trains with random stuff. And here we have the ribosomes, building amino acids into amino acid chains or proteins. They build them one amino acid at a time to be used around the cell. And in this case, they're being represented by Legos. You see, those are the ribosomes building it. And here we have a completed amino acid chain, or once again, protein. And this whole list of numbers and letters, this is the chromatin. But in this case, it's a code for the internet or a game because that's just how computers work and it is the instructions to be used by the computer for a game or an internet site much like the DNA in a cell or the nucleolus inside of it or whatever and here we have the Wild Lysosome, doing its duty as a police force of a cell, beating up a virus with its bare hands. Very admirable. As we can see, the virus is taking a hit as the Lysosomes release its acid all over the virus. In this case, acid is represented by the fists. And you see, the Lysosomes are breaking it down, one bit of acid punch, at a time. Is done. When you were eight and your head down. Win. And here we have the nucleus, or in this case, represented by the air control tower in our airfield because it issues the orders. And inside is the nucleolus. Nucleolus is are responsible for making ribosomes and for helping the orders being shipped around the cell. As we can see here. And a ribosome is born. It's terrifying. And here we have the nuclear membrane. The nuclear membrane surrounds the nucleus and the nucleolus, keeping it safe and secure, allowing few things to get in and out. It functions like a gate in a big castle. And here we have a nuclear pore. 
which is just an opening inside the cell, allowing things to get out, but is not as controlled as the cell membrane. And here we have the cell membrane. The cell membrane encompasses the entire cell, helping it form a shape and keep deadly viruses out of it. The cell membrane is possibly one of the most important defenses inside the cell as it helps keep it secure, like I said, from viruses. It does sometimes allow holes to be made inside it so good things can get through, like uh, proteins and stuff like that. Yeah. Protein. And here we have a rough endoplasmic reticulum. The rough endoplasmic reticulum functions like a factory. As where ribosomes begin the production of proteins, the rough endoplasmic reticulum finishes it. So you get a better looking Lego thing than what we just built before. And here we have some dancing performed marvelously. And here we have a waste treatment plant. Waste treatment plant is much like the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum filters out the cell like a waste plant. Poop water. All right, hello everybody. Today I have very bad news. My wife is divorcing me. Mainly because she does not like my need for oil and my use of oil. But you know what? That's something else. Now what really did she did to tick me off was that she separated our house with tape. Her half and my half. Well, I'm about to one-up that. Oh yeah, just like the century all. Yeah, to separate the sails, but okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, well, well, no boy, no. You know what? That was her stuff anyway. Good enough. What you say? Mm, that you only meant well, but of course you did. Mm, what you say? Mm, 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 mm